Hello. It's an unspoken rule to keep quiet for the whole beginning of this part. I see it every time, and it makes sense, it is drama. Hello! I'm still half setting up, hence why I'm not also the most chatty. Because my laptop has gone offline, and I can't see anything other than sound in my own earpods. That was not even a song, excuse me. Also realise I left my bedroom door open. That's probably something I should fix too. Yeah. Thank you very much. Right. We're playing some Earthbound. Because my laptop has gone online again. Hold on, I need to refresh the page. Sorry for my lack of organisation. Apparently it's how I roll. So, for those that don't know, I assume that's mostly everyone, I know Earthbound, a little bit. Uh, I wasn't around in whatever year this came out, in 1991. I was minus five in 1991. Didn't play this game as a kid, didn't play this, ki this game as a teenager, didn't even play it as an adult. I've basically not played the game. So I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'd like to experience it properly. I've uh, watched a Let's Play of it years ago. But I didn't really soak in the information. I haven't seen all the uh, NPCs in the world, which is kind of something I want to do. So we're going to play this properly, nice and slow. I'll enjoy it at my own pace, and people can tell me, at least if you're watching live, how to do half the things I need to do. But at the same time, my laptop still hasn't turned on, so, well it has, but it's just showing me a Twitch page with all the, the boxes, but no details. It doesn't even show my profile, my name, just a black box and a bunch of white squares everywhere. So I guess uh, we'll keep going through this intro scene until I work out what's going on on my laptop. Why is it always the laptop that breaks? Sorry, unless you've got a time machine that content is unavailable? Excuse me? Have I, has my channel been deleted without me knowing? Is that what you're telling me? Come on, buddy. No, but you've lost internet again, laptop. Why? You were fine for like the last three hours watching this bite-sized, are you entertained by the, uh, the vast amount of setup? Unless I deleted it all. I might have just removed it all. Or maybe I'll just include this one bit of me saying, hey, I deleted all this gross setup bit and all the errors, and then you'll be like, oh, that's weird, and then we go straight into the Let's Play. But I, I wouldn't do that, would I? I wouldn't be that smart in editing. I'm going to associate all of Earthbound with milk drinking, because that's what I'll be drinking as I play. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. All right. Time for us to actually, finally, be playing Earthbound. Da, 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 that was 1994. Do excuse me. Right, now what am I going to name things? As you can see, I got to level 4. That's the most I've played, I think. So, uh... I'm going to go with medium text, because I'm, I'm going to be reading it out loud. Stereo, yes. Ah, uh, uh, I think I've always liked just the plain one. Yeah. Just It's just Earthboundy. I'm also going to stick to Ness as a name because I've never played. Like, it just feels wrong. And I've never played with a character called Ness before, you know? It's new to me. So, same with Paula. Same with Jeff. See, I know a little bit about the game. And yes, same with Pooh. I don't actually remember the dog's name. King, of course it was. Sure, why not? Favorite homemade food. What is my actual favourite homemade food? Pizza? Steak, that sounds good too. My favourite thing? That's a good question. I don't have one. Rockin'. Don't sound right. Hammer. Hmm. Love. You know what, sure. That sounds very poetic. Perfect for the emotional story this is going to become. Year is 1990X. Wow. 
one it, a small town in Eagle Land. Or is it on it? It's supposed to be one though. I don't actually know the answer. Ness's house, I just barely saw that, sorry. So I know the intro pretty well. Ish. Everything else, I'm not too sure. Right, let's get going, shall we? Ooh, I need to move that, don't mind me. So, uh... I really like the sound effect of going through doors. I don't know why, just a little thing. So, I'm also going to be talking to, uh... Thingy a lot, NPCs a lot, because I like to hear it. Hey, bro! Did the wait, did sound wake you up? Were you freaked out? Because apparently the, uh, the writing in this game is really good. Who are you talking to? Damn it, I'm not good at this. Let's open the present. It's a cracked bat inside. Nice. Um, but no, I, I don't know, I want to not miss out on anything. Plus, uh, I don't know. Everyone always, uh, you know, everyone always praises this game's greatness. Yeah, every time I see someone play it, they don't play it like they would the first time. So I'm going to play it like I would the first time, because it basically is. What was that noise? Ness, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? And now you want to go check it out? Oh, okay. You'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I asked you not to. At least change out of your jammies before you go. Aha! Also, it looks like daytime now, but I guess that's just the lighting. Sis, do you say anything different? Do you think Mom will let me stay up late tonight? I can't seem to fall back asleep. Oh. Also, I've got a question. How long is this game usually? Because, like... Normal stories like 30 hours, but then RPGs are like 100, so... How long is this game? Oh, hello, notification! Wasn't expecting one. Champ! Thanks for following. Feel free to help along the way, because... I'm new to this, basically. Be careful! Come home as soon as you can! Borf, borf, borf. Besides humans, dogs also sleep at night. Why aren't you asleep? I don't know. Beep! Oh, okay. I know that, uh, Dad calls you on the phone over there, but... That's all I know. Average Let's Plays are between 50 and 100, hour, 100 episodes, so a little long. Are these episodes 10 minutes like they used to be back in the day, or are these like half an hour episodes? What are we talking here? I wonder what down home, but the road is closed. People are taking this meteorite situation too seriously. Duh, what at police are infamous for closing roads if something's going on. We are going for the world record. Nice. No panic, it's just a... What? Meteorite that... Who? Fell. I just wanna... What? Go home. <laughs> okay. Melodramatic policeman. Who are you talking to? I need to stop doing that. There we go. South to the suburbs of Wanet. Am I saying it white? On it. It's on it. Good. I'm glad someone fixed it for me. Did you hear the big bang? I think a meteorite landed nearby. I wanna be the first to see it, okay? I'm gonna try to be the first to get there. Well, you're doing a good job so far. Hello? Oh, hi. Pokey, my brother, ran out of here to chase after a police car. He said, Picky, you should stay home. So I'm gonna watch our house. Well, I'm home watching our house. Mum and Dad aren't home yet, and they went out on an elegant restaurant. Okay. Uh, I'm curious to know, because we come here in a little bit. What's upstairs? I don't think I've ever been. Maybe you could at the time. Just a couple beds in a really big room okay about 36 hours okay okay that's not too bad Universal Giant was your introduction to the mother series cool uh, mine was smash not that I ever acted on it I was just like who is this guy who's mother mother sounds like a dumb game name why would you call it mother it sounds like a girl's game literally I did think like why is it called mother it doesn't sound like an interesting fun game don't you know what time it is? Get your butt home pronto! Okay, my home's this way now. Meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. You kids are wandering around and I'm hungry. I hate my job. Just 
Get some donuts, man. Keep them in the car. It's dangerous to go to the hilltop. Even if I advise you not to go, it won't stop you. Will it? <laughs> I like the police here. It's probably actually what British police are kind of like. We're not very violent type people. Hey, you! Don't you know what time it is? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Thanks, Matt. That might have been to someone else, but I don't know. True. The wrong game on all that, but you know what I mean? Like, it was the mother. Whatever. Maybe you're referring to something else. I don't know. I'm only seeing the chat at the moment on my tiny little OBS. There's a bread roll inside. Let's take it. So, do excuse me. You like the police now. You won't later. Oh, great. Yes, hi, buddy. Meteorite fell down and went boom. It was a real mess for a while. It was fine because I always eat garlic and work out to help my body make my body stronger. However, the weaker citizens probably fainted. I also wanted to tell you. Oops! I almost told you about my. Ah. Uh, well, Ness, did you check my billboard? I read the message myself. It's my real job, you know, I'm a billboard guy. Why don't you check out my work? Sure. Treasure Hunter! And this is Lyrex. Uh, Liar Exaggerates House. Nice. Oh. Oh. Wait, no. Huh. I wonder when the cops all leave. <laughs> Nice. Liar exaggerate. I'm glad I picked that up, actually. Uh, that meteorite looks different than usual. It's strange and marvelous, as well as mysterious. Oh. Nice timing, Ness. Will you do something about Pokey? He's driving me nuts. You two friends. Yeah. And you live in the house next to his. I see. <laughs> Clear out! Get out of my way! Get out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out of my way! Clear out! Get out! Oh. Of way out! I. Clear out! Of way out! Get my! Oops! My mistake! I meant get out of my way! Nice. Hi, hey, Ness! Don't be rubber knocking! You're getting in the cops! Oops! I mean, officer's way! You can go home now! It's my right! Pokey will tell you more about the strange meteorite! I'm fine here, but you're bugging the officers! Yeah, get out of my Damn it. Get over this. Get home now tomorrow, Pokey. Really? I forgot this bit. You're not friends, but aren't you neighbors? Come on, help me out here. Alright, I guess I am going home. Because I can't actually go forward. Apparently, I don't remember this intro as best as I thought I did. Is there something wrong, Penguin Dude, of watching Earthbound and talking about Smash? It's where I imagine a lot of... Well, no, maybe not, no. I know a lot of people were introduced... Well, a handful of people were introduced to Animal Crossing through Smash with their trophies. Well, yeah, with the trophies of uh, KK, but... Am I doing something wrong? No, I'm not. Okay, good. I was worried then. I was like, am I doing this wrong? Hello. Welcome home, Ness. It's not necessary to talk about it tonight. It's late. Scoot off to bed now. Yeah, alright. Later that night. This is like the scariest knocking bag. Like, does he have like eight hands? Anything else in sister's room? No, of course not. What's her name? Do we know? Does it like tell us? No problem here. Someone's knocking at the door. What an annoying knock. My land, who could be knocking at this time of night? Would you answer it? Why have I got to do it? I've got fleas stuck in me dry, so I'm just gonna lie still for now. Beep! 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 
Beep. I was hoping that would make him stop knocking or something. Like, that sounds kind of creepy, but I guess not. This is like, what is going on? Like, his face is, like, messed up or something. He's like, hi. That's not what I've got to say. Well, I took Wiki to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, good evening, man. Uh, you're looking lovely as usual. <laughs> anyway, as I was saying, uh, the police that were going to me right landing left suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know, the sharks, they're, they're the local ruffians. And they were really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed Piggy was gone. I blame the cops. It suddenly wasn't my fault, lol. And when my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. <laughs> you're my bestest friend. Won't you help me find Piggy? Sure. Look okay, at you, buddy. Let's blow this popsicle stand. Before we go, why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? <laughs> she just walks away. Bye. I know that the dog is unreliable, but you should take King along. The cracked bat in Tracy's room could also help at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very you know, natural-born fighter. You'll go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. Oh. Right, does sister say anything new now? You have to know. These are the kind of things that you don't find out if you're watching a Let's Play. I'll do everything I can to help you. Good luck in your adventure. I get hungry along the way, so here's a cookie. Thank you. <clears throat> can I just leave anything you don't need with me? Do you want me to hang on to something? No. Be careful. Who are you talking? Oh, damn it. Yeah, Chod, you're cool. Whatever. <laughs> you want me to go with you? Yes. I guess I have no choice. Let's go. King joins you. Anything on the phone now? Nope. Alright. You're the only friend. I'll follow him at a safe distance. Let's get going. Did I take the present into Tracy's room? Yes, it was already open. It was the cracked bat. I think. Right? Yeah, I've got it here. Oh, I love the sound effects of the menu. Let's answer the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you, 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have an ATM card? Withdraw your money with any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like a, such a hero. What? Well, the father a hero at least. Wahaha. <laughs> Slam. Beep. Ooh. My uh, laptop is fully functional now. Meaning, haha. I can see what's going on on the chat properly now. I could kind of before, but only semi. Right. Uh, I want to go to the meteorite then right now. And let's do some classic fighting. You engage the runaway dog. I keep, for a moment there, I thought, I was like, all right, how do I spare this guy? It, it, immediately it's where I went to, oops. I guess just bash with the cracked bat. Runaway dog is making a loud, piercing howl. King is barking. Pokey apologized profusely. Ness attacks. I don't need to dialogue every little bit, but I imagine this is the only way to fight right now. And if I recall correctly, like, HP goes down like a roulette. Like, it goes down slowly, so you can sort of like... Or it's like, isn't it like you can take critical damage, but if you heal before it gets to zero, you would still survive? Some of that? Defense went up by one. Max went up by three. PP went up by two. Let's realize the power of life up alpha. Sweet. King growled and launched forwards. Nice! Pokey thought to himself. Uh, sorry, I was trying to get my, my glass of milk. Ooh, it dodged. 
Bogey thought to himself. Oh my gosh! It's an evasive doggo. Became tame. Sweet. Ah, oh, you smack these enemies back to normal. If the battle ends before it drops to zero. Oh, no, that was half a thing. Uh, I didn't get to see what a point. Okay. What point do you start collecting the Triforce in this game? You know, I don't know. Penguin dude, you'll have to tell me. Unless you don't know the game either. Uh, also, can I use... Yes, I can. Life up now. How much does it take me up by? Max is out. I imagine it doesn't always max you out. It's just because I had so little health. Okay. You engaged a spiteful crow. Meh! I'm spiteful. Spiteful crow pecked at your eyes. He says everything that he does. Meh! Oh, just missed. <laughs> Pokey acted all innocent. The spiteful crow grudged quickly. We need to work on our uh, accuracy. Pokey complained to Ness. Spiteful crow stole a bread roll. Damn it, I'm in the confusion of the battle. How did I, how did I know it was gonna do something like that? I guess because it's happened before. Spiral has a big grin on its face. Spiral Girl dodged quickly. Pokey tried to edge closer to the enemy. Spiral Girl has a big grin on its face. Because it got the bread roll, I guess. Probably the same time you collect the power moons. The enemy left a present. Oh, it's a cookie. I was gonna say, it better not be that bread roll again. Although, actually, I guess it would kind of be nice to have that bread roll still. But yeah, if there's ever a time where I should be going elsewhere for like some kind of secret, do let me know. And I'll, uh, you know, I'll cash in on that. Hi! Pokey smiled insincerely. <sighs> Pokey apologized profusely. I assume should probably get some uh, healing items now. I'll eat that cookie. Or that other cookie. Or that cookie. There's a lot of cookies, huh? Six HP. Oh, that's not a ton, actually. Okay. Fun fact, the original design of the crows in the first game featured cigarettes. I knew this! There was a bit of censorship in a lot of places, wasn't there? Uh, there's also, like, a... There's a cult later on. I think I might mean something with that. Like, maybe it was, like, their dialogue changed, or maybe they actually were white. But it was very, like, oof. Bit iffy. Oops, didn't mean to press that. I was just pressing buttons for fun. Do excuse me. For those that are wondering, yes, I'm playing this on the Wii U, the Wii U Virtual Console. Hence the menu that just popped up. They added baubles on their hats. Ah. Interesting. Right, how much? It's four. Well, I can take another cookie now. Why not? Coil Snake became tame. Alright. I guess I didn't really eat that cookie very quickly. <laughs> 1 XP, of course. Or EXP. Hey, buddy. Anything new to say? Hey, Ness. I was too busy to investigate, but I heard a child's voice on the hilltop. I'm a busy man, but when I do a job, I do it well. I'm a man's man. <laughs> uh huh. I'm sure you are, liar. Interesting. So there were two meteorites? Oh, no. Yeah, why are there multiple meteorite holes? Did it bounce? Oh, oof! If I knew this was gonna be such a scary place, I wouldn't have come all along. I'm out of here. Oh, okay. Get me out, there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh! You, you woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay, at least. 
Let's go home. I bet mom and dad are worried sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is the real big brother. Biggie joins you. Sweet. Yes. Do you hear a buzzing that sounds like a bee flying around? Nope. Oh, come on. You must hear it. This sound pops up somewhere else. I remember thinking of it earlier. What game was I playing recently? Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has this bee sound effect somewhere in it. Oh sweet, Penguin Dude, you're making emotes for me? Thanks! I know very little about it, so I'll, I'll, I appreciate all that kind of help. A bee I am not. I'm from ten years in the future. I'm pressing the buttons again because I went to scratch my forehead. And in the future, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. <clears throat> it says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion that you are that boy, Ness. This I believe. Gygus' monstrous plan, monstrous plan, must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the evil intentions of Gygus. Three things are of the utmost importance. Wisdom, courage, and pa friendship. The legends from the ancient times tell of three boys and a girl who defeated Gygus. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Ness. Did you listen to what I told you? Yep. Thank you for listening to my long story. You are as exceptional as I expected you to be. Alright, see you later, penguin dude. Enjoy. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Mm. <laughs>